Hey YouTube, RV Safari here. Today's video is about logbooks and how to make a logbook for your drone. It's inexpensive and very helpful. The FAA recommends you keep a logbook of your flights and your maintenance, and uh, I agree with them. I think it'd be very helpful. I'd like to thank my subscribers and my viewers. Thank you very much for watching. Let's get to this logbook. At some point, I'm going to review my drone landing pad. But today's video talks about the drone flight log. Let's open this book up and see what's inside of it and how it can help you keep track of your hours and your maintenance schedule. So here's my simple homemade flight log. Cost a buck or two to have it bound at Staples. In the back of the book are some blank pages to log in and document. Uh, when you call airports to get permission to fly. But the meat and potatoes of this flight log are these pages. So here's the example page. You can take a screenshot of that and then you can uh, go to an Excel spreadsheet and make up your own with some addendums and some additions. Let me show you how I fill this out and some uh, really interesting uh, features that I've, I have on here that aren't written on this particular page. But let me show you uh, really a couple of features, especially battery maintenance. So the date is super simple. Today is uh, 9, 24, 16. The distance flown hypothetically is 250 meters. The time is 1240. The drone is a Phantom F4. I only have one drone, so if I had more drones, I'd put the registration number, but I just have one drone, the F4. And I have three different batteries labeled one, two, three. So this is battery number one. The altitude, I'm cleared today to fly up to 15 meters. About 50 feet, I'm fairly near an airport, so I've talked to the airport manager and. 15 meters is what we agreed on. The location is uh, Roseburg. The weather, it's sunny, 70 degrees, and a four, four knot wind. So under clearance, I have file 15. So in the back of my book, I have 15 entries of calling airports for clearance. And this is file number 15, so you can go back in the back of the logbook and, and reference that. So the flight time I did, to, let's say it was uh, 10 minutes. And then you can... Uh, Bring your time forward for the whole page, time forward from the previous pages, then time on this page, and then your total time. But here's a, uh, a feature of this uh, notebook that I've been keeping lately that I think is pretty helpful. So here under notes, I did uh, waypoints, practice waypoints, and uh, flybys, or whatever it is that you have been practicing. But under notes, what I've been doing is I will take the starting battery percentage, and I'd like I'd actually like to have a little uh, another box here. My next iteration, I'll put a little box here for battery percentage. And I start at battery 100%, and at the end of the flight, it was 60%. So let's look at that a little bit more clearly. So the battery starting at 100% to 60%. is a 40% decrease in battery capacity. And the flight time is 10 minutes, which equals 600 seconds. 10 minutes times 60 seconds per minute, 600 seconds. So then a formulation that I've, that I've um, started using is you divide flight time 
versus change in battery percent. So this would be flight time is 600 seconds and the change in battery percent is 40 percent. So 600 divided by 40 is 15 seconds per percent. So what I'm saying is that for every 1% of battery power I use, I get 15 seconds of flight time. So what I'm hoping is over the months and weeks of flying these batteries, I can see the battery um, performance decrease and I can see if a battery has a problem before there is a real problem. So then in this logbook, I just go over here. This is my battery percents, 100% to 60% do the math, this battery equals 15 seconds per percent. And I found for the Phantom 4 batteries, that's about average between 15 and 15 and 0.75 seconds per percent. So I'm, I'm expecting that as the uh, batteries age, the, the uh, amount of power they can uh, generate per percent, the amount of time flying per percent will decrease. And I can retire a battery before there's any problems. Hope this logbook is helpful to you. Um, I find it helpful. I've been keeping it since my first drone flight. I have about a thousand minutes of drone flight time, which is not very much, but at least I can keep track of it. And then as I uh, accumulate more time, I can just print up more books and keep these books uh, for reference. Thank you very much for watching today. I really enjoy making these videos and uh, I reached my 50th subscriber last week and I really would like to thank them personally. And uh, please continue to watch and any comments or, or uh, tips would be much appreciated in the comments section. This is RV Safari signing out. Thanks very much.